Hi, I found you on the internet, thought I would see if you could answer a couple of questions. My pool is 18 months old, finished with Mediterranean Blue Aqua, Aqua Bright, which I love. I had some damage to the sun ledge because of ledge lounger chairs being moved by pool cleaning guys and guests. It scratched the Aqua Bright and in a few places deep enough that the plaster below is exposed. Question. How easy or hard is that to fix? Waiting on the company that did the finish to respond about repair, but they haven't gotten back, so I'm wondering if they're still doing it. Um, question two, advice on chairs to put on this ledge safely once I get it fixed. And three, um, calcium hardness and total alkalinity levels. What are your suggestions? Okay, so the first one, you're saying that there's grooves in the plaster finish, and I'm, I guess I'm not understanding where these true branded ledge loungers or these something else that you put on your safe, on your sun shelf that you're calling ledge loungers. And the reason I ask that is the brand ledge lounger is smooth and flat on the bottom and it doesn't have anything that would cause grooves now now i could see so she thinks maybe small pebbles from the exposed aggregate deck <coughs> got scratched into it so so Le when drag when dragging lounger. the ledge lounger uh maybe some pebbles gouged it maybe. Mm, okay well First off, not fully understanding that part of, of what happened. Uh, there's no real patch for it that would make any sense that would look any better. However, it probably could be polished. And if you can't find someone to polish it for you, if you could get a hold of a, a, a diamond block polisher, which they're used in all kinds of industries, but it's basically, uh, if you go anywhere that does concrete countertops a supplier there's a lot of supply houses i know in our area they carry all different types of countertop supplies and there's grinding blades you can go on the internet and find a grinding blade um, a diamond bit grinding blade that if you could get one in a block form you might even be able to somewhat polish those out yourself uh, i don't know that unless there were significantly deep gouges that anyone's likely to do very much about it so if you want to do it yourself that might be something to try uh, the likelihood of getting a, a company to somehow fill those just doesn't seem probable uh, really the only solution if you really wanted an all the way solution would be to strip it and redo it and again there's going to be significant cost in that so the, the first one, I would say, try to buff them out with a, a fairly inexpensive diamond, diamond blade polish cube. Or it's basically a drywall. It's like a drywall pad if you've ever done drywall and there's like a di drywall foam cube. But this one has a, a diamond finish on it. And you might be able to buff that out. The, what was the second question? Um, um, what? type of chairs what type of chairs to use yeah. well the ledge lounger is a great option I think maybe ensuring that you're not getting any more pebbles from the uh, surface of your patio and making sure those are removed um, although anything plastic is probably okay what you're not going to want to do is something that's anodized metal that looks like it's aluminum but it might be steel but it's got a plastic coating on it because eventually what happens is it starts rusting on the inside and leaches out and leaves all kinds of stains on the surface so uh, plastic lounge chairs you might just want to look at them and make sure that there's no sharp edges on them if there are grind them off cut them off uh, but a ledge lounger should be fine again you might want to, before you put the furniture back on the sun ledge, sweep the sun ledge off and make sure there's no pebbles on it. 
Um, and then, and then finally, and alkalinity levels, salt water pool with a waterfall and a pump running 24 seven. Okay. So I would say on the calcium, 200 probably parts per million would be ideal. 200 to 225, not much more than that, and, and certainly not much less than that. Uh, alkalinity, hmm. 80 to 100 with salt. With, with the salt, you'd recommend mm -hmm. that? Okay. I was trying to factor in what where I would want to put that with the salt. So what she's saying is 80 to 100 uh, because it's a salt system. Without a salt system, we'd adjust it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, hopefully that, that helps you a little bit anyway.